sign language. <laughs> Please don't don't tell anyone what I just told him because uh, it's true. It's, yeah, you're not gonna believe it. You didn't know unicorns could do this in real life, and I'm giving away a surprise. I'm sorry, there's gonna be unicorns involved. It's awkward. Um, no, you know what though? I will say a little bit more about myself. Um, wait, you guys have any questions so far for me? Old mini talk back session. Anyone questions? Comments? Yes, it's real. Yes, it's real. No, no. Ah, you were, were you gonna ask that? Were you? You're kind of curious. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That can be honest. Thank you. You have good dimples, good sir. By the way. That's how you compliment a man. Like a man. You know what I mean? Hey, hey. Good dimples. <laughs> Got some great dimples, man. Just wanna like swim in that in that dimple. <laughs> It's beautiful temple, son. Um, I'm glad you guys are laughing. Oh, nothing like being comfortable in your own, like, in, like you said, like in your own gender, in your own whoever you know yourself to be. It feels good once you get there, you guys. Oh, you're like, oh, I wanted to compliment so many people before. Like, I didn't know. Like, that's awesome hair. I can't make my hair do that. That's awesome hair. Dude. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Thank you for thanking me. Um, so anyway, I'll actually, okay, sincere talk, okay. Um, so I'll tell you, my two main loves in life are acting and poetry, right? Um, when I, I realized that because I really enjoyed, like I did a play like years ago, and I enjoyed seeing people think and feel. Like, whatever age they were, I was like, oh my gosh, you're thinking, that's amazing to look at, whoa. And then when I saw someone feel something, like, honestly, like, just feel that emotion. They weren't going to turn away from it, and they were going to honestly confront it or get attacked by lights. You got it? <laughs> I was like, what? That's beautiful. Like, that's beautiful that we're able to help each other connect with emotions that are hard to confront. I was like, this is genius. Who thought of this? And um, in my first open mic night, I definitely just got instantly inspired, and I was like, I want to I do that, you know? Sometimes I'll, I'll see, like, basketball players play basketball. I'm like, I want to do that, but then I'm like, I'm never really... I'm not gonna join the NBA anytime soon. Um, but that, the poetry aspect, I was like, I can do that. So uh, I've been doing this for like the last, like, gosh, like seven, eight years or so. Um, I've been teaching after school poetry right here at Oscar de la Hoya Animal Charter High School. Uh, you guys know that school or no? No? You guys, that's racist. That was racist. <laughs> Can't believe you don't know that school. God, how do you feel right now? That was good. I'm kidding. That's awful. That's an awful joke. No one should have laughed at that. I just made her feel guilty for no reason. <laughs> all right, all right, that was too awkward of a joke. Okay, no, that's no problem. By the way, I throw out racist like a lot. By the way, because uh, I feel like racism doesn't really exist in my mind. Uh, I feel like when you know our history and past as a people collectively as a human race, it's kind of silly that some of us don't remember that we're all one people at a time. You know what I mean? We're all on one continent. You guys remember Pangea? You guys remember Pangea? When I heard about Pangea, I was like, shut up. Wait, what? Every continent was connected for, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Is that like magic? Are you talking about voodoo? Like, was there voodoo involved? Because that's amazing. So I really like, that connected with me. I was like, forget like, oh, I'm a black African pinch warrior, or like the whole Latin like power thing. I was like, wait, let's go further back, you guys. Let's go further back. We're all just like hanging out around a freaking campfire, eating food, and just hanging out, telling stories. We're inventing languages for the first time. What? It's freaking deep. Thank you. I need a music. <laughs> Couldn't get much deeper than that. Oh. So yeah, so what else am I doing? Uh, I'm part of the band now, I'm part of the band. Uh, it's called The Key. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep in touch with you guys, basically. I have a lot of stuff going on in my life. Uh, it's gonna be fun. So I'll be all of your friends on Facebook. I kid you not, I will find you. I will find you. You made some good jokes earlier. I really wanna be your friend. You're hilarious. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna get into some different stuff right now. Um, this is Damon Ray, by the way. I should introduce this guy. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Damon Ray! D Ray! Not like you know him. My name is Damon Ray, and I'm pleased to meet you. Oh, I stole that from him. He totally did. He said that earlier. He stole that from me, like a million right? other people. No, I don't think so. I'm going to keep talking into it because it feels nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, anyway, so this guy and I totally. Uh, really helped me, like, he supported me making my first spoken word album, which is what is also being raffled, okay? So I hope you got raffle tickets, okay? It's pretty worth it. <laughs> it's fun to do, it's fun to do. 
And uh, I think we're going to get deep though. We're going we're to do the deep first. Yeah? I just invited him today. He just, like, barely knows why he's here. Barely knows. <coughs> so, uh, yeah. I saw a drive by of shooting stars as she walks five blocks in high tops, her lips locked and stops by a bus stop. The sound of hip hop from a car and a teen's flip flops from afar drown out of her mind. She finds herself paralyzed. Uh, situation she needs to analyze. A passerby looks into her eyes and wonders vicariously what her sight is inhaling. Her head is tilted to the left a bit in awkward pose, as many know, but the glow in her eyes. Surprise with a curious, lifeless light bulb pulling just inches above their hairline. She's not fine, fly, fat, fresh, or even right. She stands still now, staring as if, as if she's seen a dream filled mountaintop, a single solitary raindrop, or maybe just a person whose personal aura personified the perception of love. And I see her standing there, stuck on this. Lane. I was about to make a left in my brain, but she made me pause like the same button you used to play this day. Something was unique. And the words wouldn't come for me to speak, and I wanted to yell out to her, ask what she saw. But I hesitated and debated whether or not my direction she would even direct her attention to. And something she made me see myself it was more than enough trouble. I used glue just to make it fit, and so I sit. Memory to remind myself that every tomorrow is a new way 